Hello. Hello. Right, it's Friday the 14th of October and we're just a few minutes away from a site. We're going to a site today, so a diff different sort of log from us. Um, you're usually used to us seeing us up a mountain somewhere in the Cambrians, but today we are going to Uphill Wharf in um, Sorry, I've got to watch where I'm going. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yes, it's near, near Western Supermare. In Somerset, yeah. And um, we're meeting up with friends, but we'll tell you more about them later on. And it's a really nice site. We've been there before. So, yeah, we enjoyed our trip last time, didn't we? Yeah. We went yeah. There. yeah, I think we were only there one night before. Come out to meet us. <laughs> Welcome to our field. Thank Hello. You. Yeah, we have been here once before, about a year ago uh, or so. Yes, that's why I, I, I was going to say that. It's been about a year since we've been here. Oh, blimey, year. you know. No. Oh. Yeah. And the girls are quite excited because we've arrived. Aren't you, ladies? Are you excited? Is he, is he poppy later? Yes, you will. You'll see Poppy later. And there's Pearl, the CB20. And there's us. Not a bad spot for a couple of nights. And the rain has stopped and we've got blue sky. Yes. Hello, Graham. <laughs> in a creepy voice. <laughs> it's lovely isn't it? Nice, isn't it? Very nice. This is an unusual site actually. You with a cable plugging Merlin in. Outside eating is all set up, darling. This is nice. Well, this is nice, isn't it? Cool, isn't it, just? Mm. It does not feel like middle of October, no, does it? No, not at all. And the weather we left in was sort of grey and it had been raining, hadn't it? Now it's really warm and sunny. Hmm. Food always tastes nicer when you eat it outside, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And no wasps this time of year? Nope. No midges? We're only a few hundred yards from the sea, so we're going to take Maya and Luna and give them a bit of a run on the beach.
after our lovely walk on the beach, we're going to have a cup of coffee and a piece of cake in the Boathouse Cafe, which is also dog friendly. In fact, very, very dog friendly. <laughs> but I've got something that's, that's, it'll be very good for my diet. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Ellie's got a nice, what is that one? That's a vegan apple and raspberry crumble and an oat milk latte. And of course, because we've got dogs, we can't ignore them. Here we go, we've got two venison sticks. Which they're about to have. My word. I know. Is that nice? It's delicious. Mm. <laughs> it doesn't look like you're going to say very much. No. Nope. It's delicious. It's very nice in here. They do breakfast as well. So, I've got a feeling we might be here tomorrow. And you've got dogs on your do you want to try this, Maya? See what you think of that. <laughs> oh, that's nice, isn't it? Must be good because it smells. And there's also lots of outside seating as well for the slightly warmer days. And they have all these treats for doggies. Wow. <laughs> Even a hamper. And this Hall of Fame is reserved exclusively for pictures of dogs. They have one number for pedestrians and one for cars. And I think we can go back down this way. Here's our dinner, nugget and chips. I do like my air fryer. So we're gonna have our dinner now. And in a little while, we'll go and see Rick, Heather, and the lovely Poppy. I can now say, uh, we had a bit of a chat last night and I've got a little insert. Yeah. And that's my lot. Yeah, I know. Are you videoing us now then, Graham? Oh, what is doing? iPhone 14. No, 12. 12? It's the yes. old one, Rick. Oh, my God, mine's an eight. Get out with your old one. <laughs> what? <laughs> What do you link, think to the uh, drive away awning then? We love it. <laughs> it's really good, this drive away awning. Rick and Heather have become good friends of ours and we've met them at a few different meetups. They've been doing their YouTube channel for probably about the same time as we have. It's really good to meet up with them again. And uh, thank goodness that they've got this awning which they've uh, only recently got, but we, it, it enabled us to sit outside and uh, have a few beverages. Apologies for the poor photography. Copious beer doesn't help. Good morning. Good morning. From a very, that was a very cheery good morning. <laughs> good morning. You almost got a song there, didn't you? Yeah. Good morning from a very damp, where are we? Uphill Wharf. Uphill Wharf. Uphill it's Wharf. It's near Western Superman. Yes. Um, yeah, it's a bit bit wet today, but I'm sure that won't stop us. We've got a walk and a pub lunch planned later today, and yep. we'll take you along with us for those. We had a lovely day yesterday, which you would have seen by now, and the weather was uh, a lot kinder to us, so we had a, a nice walk and a lovely evening with Heather and Rick um, from Pearl, the CV20. We didn't really film very much of that. You might see a couple of really peculiar pictures in the vlog um, but we don't tend to film things like that too much as it's sort of time to catch up with friends really now me and rick drinking is not what anyone really wants to see it's right? not pretty it really isn't pretty <laughs> we're about to have our breakfast my tea's getting cold so we'll catch you in a bit i'm just gonna have a quick walk around the the site so you can get a feel for what it is so there's merlin we're on pitch 21 
that's Pearl. Now all of these pitches along here, spin you around, they're all around the edge of the lake. So everyone gets a nice view. And the lake itself, you can use it, you just have to, uh, you can take paddle boards, you can swim on it, canoes. Um, you need to sign a disclaimer, which is fair enough, in case you drown. We're heading out for a, what hopefully will be a circular walk round to the old church of St Nicholas. So we've had a nice level walk this thus far along a nice pavement, but I think it's going to get a little steeper. At this point, you'll have to forgive us. The wind is quite strong and uh, it's affecting the sound. Meanwhile, we have an altercation with a kissing gate. Oh, bloody hell! <laughs> That's tight. <laughs> catches his last song. Cattle on the Hill. Was it called Castle on the Hill? Yeah, yeah. Ed Sheeran, yeah. Ed Sheeran. What's that say? This is Cattle on the Hill. <laughs> Rick loves Ed Sheeran's latest song, Cattle on the Hill. Good job I'm slim. Yeah, is that Poo Gate? Poo Gate. <laughs> yeah, Poo Gate. Squashes the. Never mind. <laughs> As we near the top of the hill, we take in the view looking down to Western Supermare. And over the Severn estuary there, you can see Cardiff. Why is this I mean, I've been to Western Supermare once, maybe in my very early 20s. I thought it was a bit. The rule is whenever you say on the beach, you've got to sing it. How's it go? On the beach, do, 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 do. <laughs> keep going. It's, that's that's all she knows. Oh. <laughs> that's it. Right. I'm glad she did it. Are you? Really? Well, it was her or me, wasn't it? True. <laughs> yes, yes. Count your blessings. <laughs> I nearly did another. Go on then. Cliff, Cliff Richard one there, which actually was a bit middle one as well. What was that then? Well, when you were stood over there. Yeah. From a distance, you can see oh, damn. West <laughs> Super <laughs> 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 Well, that's right. This is how the professionals do it, and it also saves us having to do it. So, win-win, <laughs> really. Win-win. Professionals. Professionals. Yeah, here's the link. <laughs> you don't now. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, you'll have to be. Oh, no, you're a good-looking one. No, wait a minute. Now you'll have to be. Wait a minute, I could be the one that used to be in the SAS. Lewis Collins. You yeah. can do the curly haired one. That Which one was Bodie? Which one was Doyle? Wait a minute. Bodie was Lewis Collins. Yeah. And yeah. Bart, <laughs> you can be yeah. Bodie. <laughs> Bodie, Bodie, Bodie and Boyle. Yeah. <laughs> what was his name? The, the gaffer man. St Nicholas Church is a solitary, partially ruined Norman church and it stands alone on a hill above the old Roman port of Axiom. It's a very steep climb up to the church but you're rewarded with terrific views over the marshes and the Bristol Channel and you can see right over to Cardiff. The church is now looked after by the Church's Conservation Trust and uh, even now it's still used for the occasional services. Excavations that were done in 2015 revealed a pit under the floor of the church suggesting that the church bells were cast on the site. The church dates back to the Norman period and it features a 12th century door, chancel and a nave with a central tower. The nave is unroofed and open to the elements but the tower and the chancel are still uh, working today. One of the recent services held here was carols by candlelight. It said, join us for a festive carol by candlelight at Magical Uphill. Bring a torch and your voice. And what a wonderful place to be laid to rest. Some terrific views. 
The churchyard is still consecrated, but it's not used anymore. The latest grave I could find there was 1981. We're now going to have a look at Uphill Beacon. This beacon was last lit for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee in June 2022. You can see for miles up here and all the points of interest are marked on the, on the wall of the tower. There is no charge for entrance into the Uphill Beacon but uh, you do have to be used to um, climbing up spiral staircases. As you can see, the sea is just over there. So we've decided we're going to take uh, Poppy and R2 for a little run on the beach, tire them out before we go to the pub. try the ship in for some lunch. Uh, Heather's already checked and they are pet friendly. So what do you want then? Something oh, nice. nice. Just get it right Heather, no yeah, right. pressure. What are you having? I haven't decided yet, I'm well, too busy. You pick Where first. are you going? You, you stay pick here. First because obviously you're never going to eat all of yours and then I might get a bit of it. <laughs> <laughs> 
That'll have to come out, won't it? We've ended up in the pub. There's a surprise. Bad influence. Yep, and happy anniversary, fellas. Thanks. Five years. Five years. You still love each other? Five wonderful, <laughs> glorious years. And she hasn't killed me yet. Hey. Never a crossword. What? No, I don't like doing crosswords. I'll never get the answer from it. <laughs> oh. And here's my boy. All right. And what are you drinking, darling? Well, can't you see? A pint of otter. Otter's, otter's what, though? It's otter ale. Otter's piss. From <laughs> Devon, Devon Brewery or something. <laughs> it's good. You're enjoying it's really it. nice. Good. It sounds wonderful. After yeah. the way I described it. After yeah. He drank enough last night, as we know. It did. It's hair of the dog for Graham. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hair of the dog. I seldom drink more than one or two. Right? That's right, yeah. He's quite good. Or bad, depending. <laughs> one or two flagons. <laughs> Oh, this is looking good. Good. And chips. Burger and chips. That does look nice. It's like nice chips too. Rick's got a curry and we've got a very noisy oh, yours dog. Look, yours looks good. Lovely, thank you. Uh, is there vinegar in here, I suppose? What are you barking at? What are you barking at? That's it. And uh, Graham talked me into another point. He's got his yeah, lemon meringue, really chocolate hard slog orange. Talking you into that. And Graham's got sprinkles. Oh, that's really nice. Is yes, it what the sprinkles? Yeah. You like your sprinkles? As we left the pub, we all decided we felt a bit sleepy. So we're heading back to the uh, campsite to have a bit of a kip. We're meeting up again in Rick and Heather's awning. But this time, I don't think there'll be much alcohol. Hello. Hello. All different flavour tonight. How are we? All we're right. good, we're good. Yeah, we're sorry just... we were late, guys. No, we're you're good. OK. You're not late. Well, we're not. Like the party in your <laughs> pops. I slept for two hours. So did, did we. Yeah, so did we. we. I, did I? Did yeah, I you I did. did. You yeah. did. You definitely yeah, did. We, we slept for two hours, both of us. Yeah. We were, we, well, the difference with us is we had a cup of tea. We, I was really wanting a cup of tea when I got back, so we had a cup of tea. We put Tony Blackburn on, on the island. Well, that's going to send you off, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. And we had the door open, but then you woke up and you were a bit cold, weren't you? I heard you slip, sh shut the door and then we fell back to sleep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, when you got back, it was quite warm in the van. So it was, it's yeah. It's like, well, you know, let's just have the door open, a bit of fresh air yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, um, but, um, <laughs> but yeah, it was after about an hour. I woke up and I'd gone cold. Um, who's that? Who is it? <laughs> oh, she's so adorable. She just relaxed tonight. Yeah, worn her out. <laughs> yeah, she slept. It's all that chocolate mousse. You gave it to the dog. No. <laughs> well, she runs around a bit for 52, so... Yeah. yeah. More than I did at 52. Well, she hey, went to sleep yeah. this yeah. afternoon, straight on my bed, gone. Oh, was you overtired, like love? Starfish. Yeah, oh, bless. No room for No yeah. room for Rick, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Just the norm. I love that picture you posted of her. God in the oh, toast. The toast. That's the yeah, I love that. that. The toast oh, daddy long legs. We're, oh, we're, uh, where, is oh. it? where is it? It's in your hair. No, it's not. <laughs> that's she, horrible. It <laughs> uh, I don't know where it's gone now. It went behind you, but it's not in here. Don't worry. <laughs> it's the batch you wouldn't worry about. <laughs> Poppy's saying, what's wrong, <laughs> mummy? <laughs> oh, as Rick was saying, the rock and roll lifestyle. Oh, yeah. We have got a hot chocolate, a cup of tea, two cups of tea and a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and probably non-normal crisps. Yeah, they? these are, I don't know what they're like. <laughs> So we've decided to go for breakfast. We did. We've weakened. We've weakened. Some would say a bloody fine decision, actually. So we're going to the boathouse. Any place that's a friend of a dog is a friend of ours. <laughs> what do you reckon then, Gray? I'm looking forward to my breakfast. Looking forward to your breakfast. I am, yeah. Are you hungry? 
Uh, yeah, a bit. Yeah. We sort of promised ourselves this. Yeah, and once you, you promise yourself a breakfast, you just have you to have look it. Forward to it. That's then. it. Yeah, you do. I'll do well to eat this. This is going to have to be dinner all day, I think. I'm looking forward to mine. Nom nom. <laughs> Well, that was a great breakfast. Now we've got to head back to Merlin and say our goodbye. Sadly, we've got to go now. Walking back to Merlin after breakfast, we decided to film this little fella because he was quite a cute little duck. And then we spotted these, these little jellyfish in the lake. Don't think I've ever seen anything quite like that before. So beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Mind you, I'm quite glad I didn't decide to go for a swim <laughs> with them in there. The church on the hill really is the perfect backdrop for Pearl and Merlin. One man and his dog. I'm not saying which one's photogenic, but Poppy, you are just so cute. With his bag on Well, we've had a fantastic weekend, and thank you, Rick and Heather. It was most enjoyable. We had a great time. Really enjoyed it. We're off home now. Do please like and subscribe, and do join our Facebook group, Wizard in the Wild. Catch you next time. <laughs>